18 to 7 is your score here after the first quarter. Leading the way for GW in that one was Santino de Trapano with five and Darren Williams with two three pointers for six points. Frankie with two and Krauser with uh, splitting a free throw, Switzer with a basket, Eddie with a basket. So six players getting in the scoring column for GW in that first quarter. Can't say the same for Spring Valley as Jacob Kilgore, number 33, had one basket and Eli Parker had the other five points here in this first quarter. So, but here is, again, here is the second and we are underway yet again. Hunter Wall with the ball. And we have a timeout here by Spring Valley as 15, Austin Kaiser, got held up. As Spring Valley definitely needs to get something rolling here on this offensive end. Defensively, they're not doing bad. They just uh, are failing to answer a lot of the shots made here by GW. And as anybody can put that together, it's not going to lead to a lot of victory. MSAC action here in full swing. It's always a tough conference, considered by almost everybody, that uh, definitely the hardest athletic conference in the state of West Virginia with schools such as Parkersburg and, of course, all the Kanawha Valley schools and, and schools like Spring Valley and Ripley up and down 77, 79. But we're back here in action off the timeout. Number 10, Tyler Robertson, who's just checked in the game, as well as number 44, Colton Brewer. Gives it back out to Hunter Wall. And Robertson. Also on the floor right now. Shot up no good there by 44, Colton Brewer. And Darian Williams brings the ball up the floor. Darian Williams here with the ball. Now in the hands of Ryan Switzer. Santana to Trapano over to top the key to Switzer. Trip Nelson's in right now, number 42, in for Thomas Frankie. Darian Williams getting the hands of Krauser. And Krauser trying to draw some contact. That's no good. And then the putback there by Trip Nelson, no good. Here comes Spring Valley. And there, a nice little hesitation by 30. Elia Wellman. Krauser sees the lane, then kicks it out to Williams. And Switzer looking for Krauser and tips it over there to 42 foot Nelson. I like to say that was design play, but I don't know. Either way, it works for G, uh, GW and counts for two. 20 to 9 is your score at 5.30 to go in the first half. Now Hunter Wall back on the action, top of the key, getting it over to number 30. Wellman, but they're going to wave it off. Offensive foul there on Wellman. Only two fouls here in this one, both by Spring Valley. So again, GW yet to commit a foul here in this one. Luke Eddy has checked in for 42, Trip Nelson. And Switzer challenging somebody his speed and that's why boy was that quick and explosive he got to the hoop very quickly got the shot off in the paint 22-9 is not your score 13 point lead for GW Hunter Wall trying to do reverse lift Krause coming up with the loose ball and muscles the rebound out to Eddie and here we come with GW over to Tino to Travano no good Krause are trying to go for the rebound comes up in the hands of Hunter Wall he tries to go behind the back, stolen away by Luke Eddy. And we have an offensive foul there by Luke Eddy. First foul of the game by GW, only the third foul overall by e by Eva uh, King. Luke Eddy's first personal team foul, number one. 
Frankie's coming in for Krauser. Krauser a well earned break there. But he had been all over the rebounds. Eli Parker has checked back in for Spring Valley. Bringing the ball up the floor will be Austin Teaser, number 15. Colton Brewer, now it's back in the hands of. Uh, it was 15 there, Kaiser, and the shot was no good by number 10, Robertson. And it's going to be a jump ball on the rebound. Uh, it's going to go to George Washington. And Frankie looks like he's going to inbound it here to Switzer. Frankie seems to be glancing at that forearm there. May have a cut or a scratch or one or the other. It's very possible down there in them scrums underneath the basket. Frankie trying to look for that inside move. Didn't feel like forcing anything on that one, which is normally the smart way to go when you have an offense here like GW. And that's why patience pays off. Santino de Trapano with another basket. Three fifty-seven and counting here in the first half. Eli Parker over in the hands of Kaiser. And Robertson looking for Parker and instead goes over to the right side back to Keezer. Uh, Eli Parker had a notion that kicked it back out to Robertson. Bowman was looking for a cutting to Eli Parker. And that did not work out as the ball went straight to the GW backstop there. And it'll be a George Washington ball again as they're looked to build on their 15 point lead at 24 to 9. Austin Breeden and Darian Williams checking back on the floor for GW. They'll be on the floor with Switzer, Frankie, and Eddie. And Thomas Frankie getting fouled on his way to the hoop there. See again that got deep in the paint. And we'll give that foul to number 30, Wellman. That'll be his second. And Frankie can't connect on the first one. On the second, 25-9, 16-point lead here for George Washington. Eli Parker with the ball on the right wing, working on Williams. Trying to work on Williams, and Darian Williams, a little too much to handle. They're on that one. Got some quick hands in there, and Eli Parker dribbled it right out of bounds. Go right over to, back over to GW. Darren Williams open for three. First miss of the night, and Thomas Frankie's going to get charged with going over the back. He tried to keep that loose ball alive. Ball's on the deck there, but it guns up in the hands of Jacob Kilgore. That shot was up and good. Three-pointer by 23. Jacob Campbell. No shot there. Zeddy got fouled on the floor. Fouls are starting to get a little more quick here. Uh, number 20. 
Now submitted by Street Valley, number 20, Greg Emmer. This first person will take down for four. So we need the contest for today. It's number 18 on the track pedal. Number 20. 25, Cole, 25 Cole Sammons has checked in here for George Washington. And he actually wants to get the putback. Yeah, Austin Brink number 30. And now George Washington is going to administer a little bit of press here. 27 to 12 is your score. Robertson working on it. He's over to 23. Campbell. Jacob Campbell going in, firing up the jump shot, no good. He's going to be trying to keep on. Darren Williams trying to come over. He comes up with it. And hesitation gets it to go through. Darren Williams now is a little fast paced action basketball right here. Now we got another steal that sold off Eli Parker. Luke Eddy. Just put on the floor. Darren Williams going to go in through the paint, kick it out to 10 Breeden. Breeden's going to go in, penetrate. And he, uh, and he's trying to kick out, penetrate, kick out there. It seems what GW seems to be doing a lot. He dragged that last pivot foot, and uh, they'll call traveling on you about every time. 29-12, 17-point lead here for George Washington as they try to really push this one open. Jacob Kilgore, now in the hands on the left wing to Eli Parker. And number 10, Robertson, took a step before he put it on the deck, and that's going to be another traveling violation, another turnover here for Spring Valley. And not what Spring Valley is looking for in that position. Luke Eddy, over to Trapano, getting the ball down low to Krauser, who's checked back into the game. He misses on it. The ball's tipped around, ends up in the hands of Tyler Robertson, but off the hand, off the foot of Santino to Trapano, and it'll stay with Spring Valley. Who, if you haven't picked up, is wearing your dark blue uniform with the white trim, and GW is wearing the home white jerseys with the maroon trim. Tyler Robertson, top of the key. Down the hands of Eli Parker. Shot up and good by Jacob Campbell at the half. So he's got six points all coming in the second quarter. 29-12 is your score at the half. GW outscoring them by six in the second after outscoring them by 11 in the first. So again, your score here at the half is 29 to 15 in favor of the GW Patriots over the Spring Valley Timberwolves. We'll be right back with the second half in action of this game right here on WVSportsNet.com, your sports voice of the Valley. <laughs> 